purpose of this video is to show how we can move reality model data up to a hosted, a Bentley hosted project-wise project environment. We also want to show how we can make that data viewable using a simple web URL to the users. Also, we'll be identifying the type of data that we'll be uploading. So in this case, we're working in context capture with the reality mesh generated from photogrammetry and survey ground control. The models we've produced that will work within the project-wise project environment are the 3SM reality model. So shown here is the 3SM production of that model and also a LAS point cloud model. The LAS point cloud model is consists of six tiles of LAS data, each from a job within the model. The other information that will work within the cloud environment is the photo navigation. So the positions and orientation of the photos along with the photos themselves will all be uploaded and optimized for the cloud sharing environment and viewable using a simple web URL. To do this, we'll use both the data stored within this project and we'll use an outputted orbit mobile mapping run. To begin with, what we'll have to do is we'll have to associate a project-wise project with our context capture project. We do this by highlighting the project name in the project tree, going to the options tab, and associating a project-wise project. If you need to register a project, the Bentley Software Administrator, or the user would need admin rights to register a project. This is simply a matter of filling in the form with the project details and clicking register. In our case, our project's set up, so we'll just highlight it and associate it. Once associated, we see the URL link that we can click on to access. We'll next go down to the final block used in the reconstruction and subsequent productions. We'll go to the general tab and we'll start with an export. We'll begin by exporting the run to Orbit 3DM. From here we'll simply choose a location and we'll create a file Orbit 3DM run. We'll be including both imagery and point cloud data within our orbit mapping run. We'll use links to the input data, so we will not be moving the original files or imagery files at this time. Clicking export, the time it takes to generate this OMR will vary depending on the size of the project and your computer specifications. Once the 3D run has been created, we can open the folder and view the results. So within our run, what we want to focus on is the folder called Mapping Run. We'll notice we have two planar folders and one point cloud folder. Take note, these folders coincide with our context capture project. In the project tree, we have one point cloud. It's a good idea if you've merged points to remove the merge point cloud before running the export. The planar folders refer to the imagery. There will be an equal number of planar folders per the number of photo groups within the project. Before we optimize the data within the mobile mapping run that was exported, is we want to go to our 3SM production and we want to share that to the 2017 C CVST project and we'll simply click upload and we will upload the data. Again, this will the duration of this process will depend on your machine specs and your internet connection. 
While this is uploading, we're going to open up the Orbit 3DM import and upload tool. It does not require a Bentley license to activate or operate this tool set. The purpose of the tool set is to take the mobile mapping data and the orbit mapping data and upload it to either the 3DM cloud or to the ProjectWise project. To do this, we'll first navigate to the output folder. So in our output folder with the mapping run, we'll simply drag and drop the orbit mobile mapping run. Once we drag it, we'll see add run. At this time, the user will either click add run or replace run. I'll be replacing the run with the same name. Next, we'll click import mapping run. What this will do is it will convert the six LAS tiles into a single optimized point cloud. And the next thing it will do is it will associate the two planar folders of images with the orientation file. Once completed, you're notified, import and process run successful. You can say OK. You now see the photo positions and all the information, the last files are now an OPC, an optimized point cloud, and the planar imagery is now in place. And you can even verify this by going into aerial mapping and click open view with the 2D view of map open. And this will open up the image along with the point cloud all together. So our data is in place. However, the images have not yet been optimized. To show this, we're going to open up the context share upload from the extension tab, and we're going to connect. So while that's connecting, notice we now have a context share upload tab at the bottom of our screen. And once connected, we can um, search our project. So as we find our project, any data that's currently in the project will show up in this tab. If we go to our catalog tab, mapping resource, toggle aerial, we'll now see our mapping run. However, none of the imagery has been optimized and the 3DM, so the 3DM is the 3D mapping viewer, 3DMV, and it's not available yet. So we can actually right click on this and review image availability. And so we see we have planers. We have 100% of the planers and 0% has been optimized to make them available to the 3DM viewer. We need to go into procedures, aerial mapping, and optimize imagery. We'll leave the quality as good, and we'll click Start Now. And depending on the number of images, this may take a bit of time. While it's running, we'll come up here, and we'll search our projects. So this is 2017 CSVT, CVST, and as you see, we're going to be loading a new data set. We're using the catalog resource, the mapping run for this. And nothing is showing up in the resource list. Mapping run is still not available because the images have not been optimized. So we'll just let this run. So with that, our images are optimized. However, our 3DM viewer is still showing red. This is because we need to review the data. We're going to run two steps. We'll first review the image availability. Now it's at 100, but now we need to check the rest of the data. And what this is doing is it's checking to make sure there are no photo positions where we don't have imagery and so forth. And in this case, we're good. So we can close our dialog. And now we see our mapping run over in our local resources, and we can now begin to upload that data. So while this is uploading, 
we're going to go back and look at our context capture reality mesh and see if that has completed. And in fact, it has completed and the model was successfully uploaded. And now we can view this using the web browser. Instead of using this link, we'll just say OK. And we're going to close this dialog and now wait for our orbit upload resource to be done, which it's finished. Now we can upload the optimized point cloud as a dedicated resource. We need to change the resource from catalog to a resource file, navigate down to the OPC, and browse. So we're going to go to our demo folder and open the mapping run and in here we'll find our point cloud and the OPC. So we can start now and we can upload our optimized point cloud. Now that our imagery positions and point cloud are uploaded to our context share repository, we can now go to our connection center and we can access our project from here I'll go to my recents I'll find my project and I can scroll down to the project wise context share repository this is our reality modeling data and in this section I can now see the lower basin model that I originally uploaded along with other models from my project that were previously uploaded. I can also see the point cloud at this time. We can actually access any of these models by simply clicking on one of the models. So by using the hyperlink we'll open up our reality data viewer. In this case we're looking at the um, basin We'll grab our toolbar on the lower right, and the first thing we'll do is we'll check to show our orbit photo navigation. Once the photos begin to load, we can begin to access them by using the various tools. So here we have a focus position, and we can data point out in our scene, and it will only load in or show the photos that can see this specific area. And of course we can zoom into our photos, we can generate markups on the model and so forth. Conversely, we can now access through the same dialog our point cloud data. And in our case, we've previously uploaded some larger models and we can access those models as well. So this concludes the presentation and I hope that this was helpful to the user. Thank you.